G'day Matilda's fans, here we are, behind the scenes, Matilda's camp and training today. I am luckily, lucky enough to be joined by the one and only Tony Gustafsson. How are you going, Tony? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I can't wait to get this training going. Yeah, what a stadium. What wow. a pitch. Wow. Well, like I said to the players in the pre-training meeting, I said, said you, know, you know, all we do now is prep them for a dry run of the World Cup final. You know, this is where the World Cup final is going to be. We play the number one ranked team in the world, US. So it's all about looking at this as a dry run for the World Cup final. Absolutely. Can't wait for this to be filled for the World Cup final. Mm -hmm. Australia in it. Yep. Going to win. Can't wait. And the field is phenomenal. So we can play some good football here for sure. The best style. Yep. And, I, and I heard you like a goal celebration. A bit like... <laughs> My favourite, one of my favourite managers, Jurgen Klopp. I reckon he looks like like him, don't you reckon, Australia? <laughs> I'd love you, to, well, love to see that kind of goal celebrations this weekend. I can't help. I'm, a, I'm an emotional coach. There's a lot of passion there, so I can't help. But I hope we score some goals so we get some time to celebrate as well. I'd love to see that. Thanks, Thanks. Tony. Bye, everyone. <laughs> what a man. Look at that smile. Just like Jurgen Klopp. I love Jurgen. So here are the girls. They've just done a, they just started on their warm up, lap around the field. Um, they were very slow to get going, let's be honest. So we were waiting here, you know, a good hour. Um, but plenty going on. Here are the girls. I mean, barely getting one foot after the other. It's, it's a long flight for a lot of them. And the goalkeepers, they, well, they're not fit enough to keep going on that jog. So off they, off they trot. And uh, our, our goalkeeper coach over there, Dave, what a, what a, ma what a man he is. He will be taking us, taking the girls through their paces over behind the goals here um, and Tony over there doing the warm-up bit of mobility for starters at the start of every every training obviously you've you've got to limber up those very amazing muscles that all those girls have and possess so we've just start seen them um, before doing that lap, doing what we call prehab to, for all you young kids out there. Very important part of um, going to train and, and being fit, um, ready to train and play is to, to do your warm up properly. I should, have, I should have learnt that before I did my ACL a second time. Um, and you'd think I'd, I'd know better being a physio myself, but um, yes. No, I'm actually, I, I, I am very diligent actually uh, in my, I'll just have that, just make sure we, we get that in there. Um, but very important to, of course, do all the, that prehab. Um, and obviously a lot of these girls have just got off long haul flights. So definitely stretching out is a big priority at the moment. Uh, as we see the goalkeepers, Lydia Williams here, if we can pan over, look at the resources we've got here. Many camera angles. And um, make sure as well, we're, we're really we're wanting your, your, your interaction. Um, get your questions in. We'll, we'll be able to ask, answer some questions. Um, if you want to see any particular people, let us know. Let's, we'd love your feedback. We'd love your interaction. So send in those questions and we'll, we'll get onto them. Mac us straight into it. Diving around. She had a great game on the weekend, guys, um, for West Ham, playing against Kaya Simons, Tottenham. Uh, arguably player of the match, I would have said. She really kept West Ham in the game to win in the end 1-0. And here we are, just going around. Beautiful stretches there. Come on guys, do something. That's better, opening up. Love that stretch for the hip flexors. Actually very important for everyone these days. We're on the computers a lot, um, sitting at our computers, never stretching out our hips. And so you've really got to open up those hips and, <laughs> and stretch out. Otherwise you get really bad back, back issues guys. And uh, I see too many of, of those sorts of people being a physio myself. Stretching, very important. So we're hoping to see, you know, a bit of, bit of a passing drill as well. Um, usually they get on the ball pretty quickly for every session. Do we have Hayley? Is that Hayley? 
Oh, it's a lot. It's, oh my gosh, Kramer. Here's an old mate of mine, and this is physio Lauren Kramer. Knee, knee Kramer. Yeah. Lauren Hannah. What a legend we have here. Can I give her a fist bump? How is it? How are the girls? Can I ask you a few questions? How's the camp been? How are the girls? Yeah. yeah. Asking good so far. Yeah. Um, we're live. You're yeah, by, we're behind the scenes live on um, all the Matildas channels, and you are my special guest number I two. To say hello. I know. Well, we better chat later. Yeah, we better. <laughs> no, so good to see you, Kramer. <laughs> I heard you were back in the fold. That's excellent. Who's who's on the who's on the massage table the most? Who needs the most TLC? Would you say? Look, Ellie does love a massage. Ellie Carpenter, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. loves a bit of a massage. Um, I'm not surprised. Have you seen how fast she is? Yeah, exactly. Those muscles. Need Those muscles nice. absolutely need some TLC. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tony Wignall, the S and C, taking the players through a bit more mobility now. Again, opening up those hips. Very important, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else. The keepers again are always, as they will tell you, doing much more work than the players on field. I mean, they, they, they don't get much work in the game, so they've got to do, earn their keep somehow, and training sessions are it. Yeah, as I was saying, um, Macca kept a team in the game against Kaya Simons Tottenham. I reckon uh, Kaya would be, be feeling a bit ripped off though. They were disallowed two goals. We'll have to, we'll have to ask her if she felt she was robbed. Who's looking the, who's looking the fittest? No, that's a silly question. How fit are these girls? They are all flying at the moment. I'm enjoying seeing um, a couple of the young girls, uh, Charlie Rule and uh, Jess Nash. Two, they'll be, they'll be debutantes. Never been in a uh, full Australian team set up in the past yet. So they are really young girls, the next generation um, of Australian football coming through, and it's so great to see that they're getting this experience of a, a Matildas camp at such a young age. I know them both quite well through um, Sydney FC being um, players there. They're of course doing very well in that environment and this will just push them again to reach new heights. Same with Remy Simpson, she's been another one who's impressed lately and been managed to get a call up. Great striker. Maybe competing a bit with Sam Kerr, so that's, that's, that's difficult for a starting spot there, playing <laughs> when you mash up against Sammy. Who got, a, who got another hat-trick in the WSL on the weekend for Chelsea. What a legend. A backflip, of course, celebrating that, that third goal and another hat-trick in the world's, one of the world's best leagues, arguably. Of course, Sam playing a trade there and well done to her signing another, another deal with Chelsea, extending her stay there just this week. Charlie Grant at the top of that pack. Doing very well overseas as is Angie Beard and Claire Wheeler in Denmark. Playing excellently for club and country and yeah. Charlotte Grant, sorry, I, did I say Charlie Rule again? Charlotte Grant, I meant to say there at the top of that doing really well. Macca, Mackenzie Arnold. Look at those hands, beautiful. Guys, those, those balls have been hit very firmly at them and straight away, first touch on the field and no mistakes. Micah, beautiful. Look at that technique. I think they try and get a, I'm no expert, but a, a V, a, a, no, a triangle at the back of the ball there, guys. Uh, thumbs up, ooh. Look at that agility. Get it. Oh, she won't be happy with that. It's all right, clean it up. Love watching the keepers train. Come on, Lydia, what you got? Let's go. 
get down. Get up. Go on. Let's go. Oh, yes. And come on. Yeah. Excellent. Do we have any questions coming in, guys? Remember to send in your questions, uh, comments. Who do you want to see close up? Who do you want? Now, it seems like we're, we're splitting up here. Uh, sorts of into two, two groups, I reckon. Strikers, midfielders. Nah, that's a bit of a mix of all positions on the field up, up this end. I couldn't, I couldn't distinguish, you know, I thought, thought maybe you might split into defenders doing one sorts of drill. Um, maybe they're going to split up, do some tactical things together. Um, strikers, midfielders work together, doing another tactical, tactical drill as the training goes on. Um, that, may, that may happen. I think we've only got 15 minutes total, unfortunately, guys, so we won't be able to see all of training, hopefully, maybe in the future, if you, if you let, let us know how much you liked today's session. That'll be great. Um, do we know, that's a great, or oh, Steph, do we have, there's been a question coming in. Can we see Steph Catley up close? Well, ask and your wish is our command. Look at that. The gazelle, the athlete that is Steph Catley. Has not, hasn't she been killing it for Arsenal guys? Full full game on the weekend. Um, she's she's one of the best left backs in the world, and I was I was surprised to not see her in the balloon door categories there. Oh, my sister, thank you very much for the love and all the stretching tips. I know you'll see me doing my stretches every day and every morning, every night. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, great point. A listener has just reminded us, Meeks, her 100 cap is coming up. And what a legend, again, of the Matildas is Tamika Yallop. Can we, get, let's get a close up on her. Nah, it's all right. Yeah, there she is. So 100 cap coming up on the weekend. Um, can't wait to see that. There's been a lot of them lately. It's, and it's just a testament that we're having this many internationals being played these days. It's, she's still young too. She'll, she'll go another hundred. Yawning, that's Charlie Rule. Yawning, uh, flapping about. Or was it Jess Nash? Oh, Mary Fowler. Isn't she doing well? I reckon she'll score again on the weekend. Watch out USA. And USA, I'm excited to see them, by the way. Um, what a team we have coming to Australia. Guys, um, one of my favourites, Becky Sauerbrunn, 36 years old, 197 caps to her name. What a legend. Lindsay Horan, Lynn Williams. Uh, there's actually, there's rumours, guys, uh, and you hear it, heard it here first, that she may be playing in the A-League women's this season. Um, so that is one... That, uh, that might be a scoop. I've got no idea how true those rumours are, but wouldn't we love to see it? Oh, good question coming in here. How did the girls keep up their fitness and skills in lockdown? Uh, luckily, a lot were in professional um, training environments, which is one of the great things we're seeing um, with the professionalism of the game in the women's side. Um, but definitely, there was a lot of people training individually and one of the best things we can do is kick a ball against a wall. It, all it takes is you and a ball, and, and that is all it is, kids. So just keep practicing like these guys are, repetition, repetition. This, this happens at the beginning of every training session. You cannot do the basics too often. One touch passing. So generally training sessions last about, with good question coming in again, 60 to 90 minutes. Um, there'll be a fair bit of tactical tactical set stuff now that happens after this part of the session. We're going to do a big tactical day preparing for USA. Usually, um, but the focus will be on how the Matildas want to play. And unfortunately, I think we're going to have to wrap up soon, but everyone out there, it's been, it's been amazing um, to have you guys join me. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we are going to have to wrap it up. I'm being told by the producers, let's cut it. But make sure everyone, 
you get your tickets and let's see you all filling Stadium Australia this weekend, this Saturday, 3 p.m. Stadium Australia. Can't wait to see you there. Sapkur is there across the face, and there is Claire Polkinghorne to jab it over the